UN accused of collaborating with China to delay Xinjiang human rights report until after Olympics. Here's a summary of the article. Possibly in the first half of 2022, Bachelet, the UN's High Commissioner for Human Rights, has been negotiating with Beijing since September 2018 for a visit to Xinjiang, where some one million Uyghurs are alleged to have been held in mass detention camps. Leaked documents raise questions about how productive negotiations have been, given that China's baseline position remains the same as it was in 2019. In a letter dated May 31, 2019, China's permanent representative to the UN office in Geneva, Chen Shu, invited Bachelet to visit China, including Beijing and Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, from 15 to the 22nd of June 2019. I trust this visit will provide first-hand information in China's efforts in the field of human rights, hence will benefit mutual understanding and cooperation between us, Chen wrote. The last time a UN human rights chief visited Xinjiang was in 2005, at which point Beijing and the UN agreed a memorandum of understanding, according to contemporaneous documents obtained by the Post. The OHCHR would not confirm whether a similar agreement was currently being negotiated, saying, the parameters of a possible visit are being discussed. China has long said officials are welcome to see the human rights situation in Xinjiang firsthand, but has then balked at their requests for access to certain places or individuals. EU spokeswoman Nabila Masrali said she expects China to allow meaningful access to Xinjiang to the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights in order to address the human rights situation in the region, including through an independent, objective, impartial and transparent assessment. Your office's insistence on making the public statement on 2 November has on one hand demonstrated the misunderstanding, prejudice and even wrong perception of your office on Tibetan areas in China. Former Chinese Ambassador Liu Zhenmin wrote to Navaneth M. Pillay, who was then the UN human rights chief. In 2014, Chinese officials urged the UN to deny Uyghur activists including Dolkin Issa access to the UN's Human Rights Council, demanding that, no officials of the meet these persons or accept any material they provide. This post received a score of 30,000, with an upvote ratio of 88%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. As if the report would have any teeth anyway. I mean, have you ever read a report that had teeth? Best case scenario it's the first step, worst case it's the last. Remember how world-changing the Pandora Papers were? The Panama Papers? The Mueller report? The Snowden files? In all fairness the Snowden stuff actually resulted in significant and positive changes in the IT world. In absolutely no part of this article is an accusation made they are colluding? The only thing even close is which still doesn't make any accusation of collusion, it's just lawmakers trying to push for a delayed report to be published. The reason it's delayed is because China is putting off the visit, that's not collusion. The UN can't just barge their way forcefully into a country. China is a sovereign nation, absurd of any journalist to just expect the UN to just enter. Do they seriously think the solution is, just invade China, that won't have any issues? I'm really glad you said that because it made me read the entire article. But what does this sound like to you? Riley was fired by the UN in November after releasing evidence that the organization was sharing the names of dissidents with the Chinese government. Let's say this a little louder for the people with blue links in the back. Pretty big deal. Greater than Riley was fired by the UN in November after releasing evidence that the organization was sharing the names of dissidents with the Chinese government. Didn't this just turn out to be a list of speakers in an already public conference? It would be one thing if this was a private conference or names which wished to remain anonymous, but it was already public knowledge to begin with. No. So your own source in that whistleblower is wrong. According to the object of the whistleblower's claims, yes. The UN claims it's innocent of wrongdoing, just like the police do when they investigate themselves. What do you mean, collaborating? China is a sovereign country and the UN cannot force access to any country. There is literally nothing the UN can do if a country decides in which time frame an investigation is to happen. Hell, the UN doesn't even get access to a lot of places in the world with human rights abuses, Guantanamo being one example but nobody is accusing the UN of collaborating, then, because everyone understands that the UN can't force an investigation, nor force a timeline. A surprising amount of people have this stupid idea that the UN is some sort of world police that can demand access to countries and force them to change.
This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.